Welcome to my channel that is a feather tarot. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. So this is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. Please take the messages that resonate, leave the messages that don't fit. I've already meditated over the decks of cards. I've infused them with Reiki healing and protection. I am an intuitive channeler. So whatever messages my spirit guides bring through, those are the messages that are meant to come out. <clears throat> All of my contact information is listed below if you would like to schedule a personal reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope that you guys are doing well and you're taking care of yourselves. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever Spirit brings you these messages, that's when they are meant. All right. So, Spirit, what messages do we have for Aries? Sun, moon, and rising. When I was meditating, my guides, they said, go with the flow. So I don't know between now and the near future if uh, going with the flow is uh, part of the energy that you're feeling, but I'm feeling like there's, be, there's going to be some type of flow and I'm seeing um, waves in my mind eye. So let's see what we got. So we're starting off with stand your ground. Maybe setting some boundaries. Whew. And we have the waiting game. So with stand your ground, you know, you might have to uh, set certain boundaries dealing with, uh, with certain people or certain situations. It could also speak about overcoming obstacles as well. So let's see. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Aries? Okay, and so next you have the waiting game. So the waiting game, I'm getting the sense that some of you have been working really hard on something. You've been really focused on something. Um, maybe investing in yourself, planting seeds, uh, <clears throat> applying for jobs. But there's something you've been working on in the waiting game. It comes down to either making a choice or patience. So let's see what cards we have. And you know, this this message could resonate for for you guys differently. You know, it could be romantic. It could be um, a work situation. It, it just all depends. So we're starting off with the Knight of Swords. So this could represent your energy or someone around you or just the energy in, in, in general. With the Knight of Swords, and my guides are pointing me to stand your ground, um, if you do have to stand your ground, make sure you're coming from a place of compassion um, and you have tact, right? You don't want to um, speak and not think about the words that you're saying because sometimes the Knight of Swords can just kind of rush in and just blurt stuff out and then... You know, it's just not a good feeling at that point. You may regret something that you say. This talks about the energy speeding up. So just make sure you're paying attention to details and things of that nature. The next you have the Empress. This is like the creation of, of a new idea or giving birth either physically or to an idea. Um, this could be what you're, what you're actually working on right now. Something that you're being creative about, very passionate. You know, you guys really want to, you're looking forward to the future. You're, you're wanting to see those um, things improve. This, this is also a change of attitude as well. And this speaks about wish fulfillment. So let's see what other messages we have. Nice, we have the sun. So, you know, if you are dealing with a situation where you are having to stand your ground or if you're dealing with any type of obstacles and, you know, right now at this point, uh, especially with the waiting game speaks about patience, you know, just know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. If you are dealing with any obstacles or if you're dealing with people and you're having to set, you know, healthy boundaries, just know that, you know, things are going to get better. You are going to be moving forward. Um, into calmer waters because the sun is about happiness and joy and you know you're going to be able to take a break from this energy of stand your ground 
because eventually you know it gets it gets exhausting having to con continue to to stand your ground or overcome obstacles so with the Empress here, you have the Fool. So this is something new. This is something that's either that you've been planting seeds and, it, you know, Spirit is showing me like something sprouting from the ground. So these are the ver very beginning stages. So if you are waiting on something, I feel like you are going to hear about it coming in soon. Now, t Tarot is very fluid. So your timeline may be different from others' timelines. Especially because we all have different sun signs, moon signs, and um, rising signs. So with the Six of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you guys are working hard. You're focused. You're dedicated when it comes to, you know, reducing your stress, reducing the the wheels turning in your head. Um, you know, you're you're really working hard and you're focused on seeing that light at the end of that tunnel and moving forward um, into this new beginning and just things getting easier like I, I just feel like the the energy just getting lighter and lighter and lighter so with this waiting game I'm also sensing some divine timing as well so you have the star card here you know spirit is saying that you're gonna be healing after this battle I mean look look at this card you know, and your battle could be different, right, than anybody else's. Your your battle could be internal. You know, it could be in your head. It could be you versus you. This could be you, you know, in a toxic work environment, in a toxic relationship, friendship. You know, but something something was going on, and, and maybe that's why in the beginning of the reading, you know, the energy of standing your ground and always having to be ready, always having to have, you know, spirit of saying ammunition, for whatever the situation is but you're going to be healing i feel like the more you focus on this um creative energy this passionate new beginning you focus on seeing the light at the end of the tunnel things are really going to start to progress and move forward and that healing is going to come in from any type of past conflict or you know for some of you it may not have been con conflict it might have just been some type of major change in your life so let me get you guys some tea leaf cards. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Aries? So you have ham hock. Take, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So that goes back to my channel message of go with the flow. You know, I think between now and the near future, since this is a timeless reading, whenever you watch this video, you know, make sure when you feel like you're in this energy of the five of wands or conflict, gossip, arguing, self-doubt, negative talk, just go with the flow. Just ask your guides, ask your angels, hey, can you send me some patience? Hey, can you release these low vibrational energies that are around me? I do it all the time and my guides are right there and somehow they send it to me. You have dagger, fears, worry, tense situation. This energy right here would stand your ground in the king, the knight of swords. It feels very tense, but really if you take the path of least resistance, let that energy pass. Don't make things worse by saying something that you're going to regret. You know, because all this is able to change you, depending on your situation, you know, these cards can change depending on your actions. So you have egg here. So beautiful. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Look at this. A good plan, creation, the waiting game. You know, you're going to have a choice. You're, you're creating, you're giving birth to something new. You're working hard, you're focused, you're dedicated. And Spirit is saying you are going to be successful. This is going to pay off, guys. So very beautiful reading. Um, please comment below. Let me know whenever these things, whenever these manifest manifestations come true, comment below. Let me know how everything is turning out. Um, I'm excited to hear and uh, read your comments. So I hope you guys take care, be safe, and till next time.